Before we do a question in the assignment, let's review uh, imaginary number i. We know negative 1 squared is positive 1, and 1 squared is also positive 1. Yeah, so it's the case for negative 2, positive 2, negative 3, positive 3. You see, negative 3 squared, positive 3 squared, they are all positive numbers. Okay, 1, 4, 9, right here. Then when you do the square root on this column, radical 1, you go back to find 1. Radical 4, you go back to find 2. Radical 9, go back to find out positive number. Okay. All positives inside the radical sign. And any number squared, you get positive. Now, you can see here there is no negative number. Ah, right here. If a real number squared, negative number squared, positive. Positive number squared, positive. But we imagine there is a number the reason number. If someone squared that number, the number would be negative 1. Ah, that's what we imagine. Okay. So we imagine there is a number. Some number, imaginary number. Ah, we choose this imagine and put right here. So we imagine there is a number Okay, squared, you get a negative. It was impossible. Now we assume there is a number. You get a negative 1. Then you know, when you choose the square root, like here is 9, you choose radical 9, you get 3. If you have a, a number squared, you get negative 1. You square this number, you choose the radical root of this number, you go back to find out i. Ah, it's like here, 3 squared is 9, radical 9, you go back to find out 3. If we imagine there is a number, squared is negative 1, then you choose the radical for negative 1, you go back to find out i. Okay? Now, i squared is negative 1. And then radical 1 is i. Remember that. Okay? That's important. Now, look at this. After this concept was introduced, one can do a lot of things with numbers. For example, if you have a radical 1, negative 1 is i, imaginary number. People may ask, what is radical negative 4? We know negative 4 is 4 times negative 1. And then radical 4 is 2. Radical negative 1 is i. You use the one, uh, the concept we introduced. So is the case for radical 9. Okay. Radical 9, ra negative 9 is 9 times negative 1. And radical 9 is 3. And radical negative 1 is i. Ah. Okay. So remember, this is very important. Okay. You may mark it right here. Yeah. Okay. Now let's do some questions in the exercise. Find a polynomial of f of x of degree three. That has uh, indicated zeros and 
satisfy the given condition. The zeros right here is negative 3i, 3i, 1. So there are three zeros. Okay. If degree is 3, you can only have three zeros. Okay. Not more than three. And you were told f of 3 is negative 144. With these conditions, three zeros and this condition, we should be able to find out the polynomial f of x. You know, since f of x has three zeros, three, uh, here the first one is negative 3i, positive 3i is the second one, and then is 1. What's the negative 3i, positive 3i? You see 3i, 3 times i, 3 times an imaginary number. Okay, this is what we just reviewed. Since we have a three zeros, then f of x must be looks like this. Okay, is that x minus the first zero? This is negative three i. Okay, that's the first zero, and x minus the second zero. Okay, and x minus one. So we are sure that f of x huh, has this kind of form. But we are not sure what the constant a is. That's what we needed to find out by using this condition. Okay. Apparently, remember, here you do is minus, minus, minus for all the zeros. Why? If you put 1 here, 1 replace uh, x with 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. If 1 is 0, 0, this quantity crashes down all the things. Okay, So if one factor is 0, the whole result would be 0. Similarly, if you put 3i here, you have 3i minus 3i, Okay, one number minus the same number, you get zero. Okay, so is the case right here. Okay, so that's why we have a minus each zero, minus each zero here. Now here again, a is a constant. If we find out this constant, we are done. Okay. Now, let's see how to do that. We use FOIL method to take care of these two uh, factors. Negative, negative is positive 3i. And we copy the rest of two factors down here. x minus 3i, x minus 1. And a goes down to here again. Okay. Now, by using FOIL method, you see that's the first one, times x is x squared, so f. Outer product is x times negative 3i, so you have a negative 3i x. Inner product is 3i times x, so you have a 3i times x. And the last product is 3i times negative 3i. Positive negative, again, is negative. Uh, 3 times 3 is 9. i squared is what? i squared is 1, okay, a negative 1. So, here i squared is negative 1. Now, remember, negative 1 here, you have a negative here. So, it's going to be what? Here is negative 9, you have negative 1 here, so it's going to be positive 9 now. Okay. So we are clear about this part, positive 9. Those two cancel each other. One is positive 3rx, another is negative 3rx. And you copy x squared down here. 
the rest of the x minus 1 COVID down here okay and then take a down here nothing has changed so we know f of x actually equals this so let me put f of x down here now you know we are given f of 3 is negative 144 that means if you plug in 3 here 3 here 3 here and here replaced by 3 so you have a 3 minus 1 here was 9 and here was 3 is so 3 squared and A we don't know we want to find out so that's A again replace here X with 3 we are given F of 3 is 194 uh, 1 negative 144 here so we know F of 3 is negative 144 ah. now 3 squared is 9 9 plus 9 is 18 3 minus 1 is 2 2 times 18 is 36 ok 36 ok now right hand side then is 36a left hand side again is given f of 3 is negative 144 ah, ok is right here from here Okay, now both sides divided by 36. You cancel 36, 36. So you have A equals negative 144 divided by 36 is negative 4. So you have A is negative 4. Then you can put A negative 4 back here. Okay, that will give you, huh, this was our A right here that's negative 4 now x squared plus 9 you put right here x minus 1 you put right here uh, so that's our f of x so we put right here now again you can follow this one out x times x that's the first product uh, x squared times x is x cubed because there is a 1 here 1 plus 2 is 3 and the outer product is x squared times negative 1, so you have a negative x squared. Inner product is 9 with x, so that's 9x. The last product is 9 with negative 1, so you have a negative 9. Again, the first one is negative 4, so you pull right here. Distribute this negative 4 to each thing inside. Negative 4 times x squared, uh, x cubed, so you have a negative 4x cubed. Negative, negative, positive, so it's positive 4x squared. Positive, negative is negative, so 4 with 9 is 36. Okay, x copied down. Positive, negative, so 4 times 9 is positive 36. So this will be our final answer for f of x. Okay? I'll see you next time.